data sufficiency i felt all the questions from data sufficiency were very easy you needn't even use your pen and paper just by reading the question you can mark the answer okay in a certain code language what is the code for good in that code language ram is a good boy is written as follows second statement says in the same code language good and bad girl is written as follows now if you take the first statement alone it is given ram is a good boy based on this you cannot find what is the code for good so the first statement alone is not enough to answer the question now if you look at the second statement good and bad girl yes again using the second statement alone you cannot answer the question that is you cannot find the code for good but if you combine these two statements definitely between these two statements the only common term is good and you will definitely be able to find the common code between the two statements and get the answer i think it is av correct you didn't find all this just by reading you should be able to say i am just explaining it for the sake of explaining but by comparing both the statements you will get the code so directly you can mark the answer as option e that is 5 that is both the statements are required to arrive at the answer next one how many workers are there in the company okay first uh, statement says amit salary is more than 12 workers krishna's salary is less than amit again based on these two statements will you be able to say how many workers are there in the company you cannot say correct so just by looking itself again you can say the correct answer here is option d that is data in both the statements are not enough to get the answer for this question yes neither nor next one Yes, everybody got D for that. Good. Who amongst J, M, O, T, and U scored the second highest runs in the match? So the first statement says U scored more runs than O and T, but less runs than J, who did not score the highest runs. M scored more runs than T, U. O scores less than U. Now you have to find who has scored the highest. Let us look at the first statement. Okay, what does the first statement says? It says that U scores. more run than o and t okay but less than j who did not score the highest runs so here what do you understand you understand j has scored more than u o and t so j scores more than u o and t and it is given that j is not scoring the highest so what does that mean what does that mean so there is one person above j also yes so who has to be that person see there are only five people so we are left with m so based on the given information you can see that m is the person who has scored the highest so definitely this statement one alone is enough to tell me who has scored the highest now look at the next statement m has scored more runs than t and u o has scored less than u okay so or here i can say m has scored more than t and u and u has scored more than o again based on this you don't know anything about j again you nothing is mentioned as to who has scored the highest even if they had said that m has scored the highest or something like that then you can uh, look at the second statement nothing like that is given so using the second statement alone you cannot say anything about the person who has scored the highest run so the correct answer here is option a that is data in statement 1 alone is sufficient to answer the question 